All right, GPU thermal pads. Do I need to replace mine to improve performance? And more importantly, get those uh, memory temperatures down. I have a bunch of 3080 Ti LHR cards and the top three are over 100 Celsius and they've been kind of getting hotter and hotter as the uh, months go by. So I figure I need to replace these thermal pads. From what I've been seeing from other YouTube videos and reading online Tom's hardware and looking at this article here, right here is a breakdown. It's just a bunch of photos of a GPU broken out. Apparently I need to replace these things. So I ordered calipers to measure the existing thickness of the thermal pads. Oh, here we go. So here's my temperatures, my mem temp, the 104, everything. Uh, the other temperature is nominal, it's great. And these cards that are hot memory wise don't really pull as much power there as the lower three cards, which pull more power but have better memory temps. So it's confusing to me, what is, what's the cause effect? Again, I'm new to this, been doing it since October. I've never replaced thermal pads. I know about thermal pegs and putting heat sinks on and CPUs and stuff like that. I get it. But I never replaced the thermal pad. So I think this is an indication where I need to go ahead and replace those thermal pads with these uh, temperatures in the red. Yeah, let me know what you think. Have you seen this? And is this the indication that, yeah, dude, get the, take one off. Take that top GPU off there, strip it down, clean it with isopropyl alcohol, get all that stuff off, measure the existing thermal pads with the calipers so you know the correct size to replace them with. And I did order multiple sizes from 0.5 millimeter up to three, just so I have a nice little tool kit available to replace these pads. Because apparently I have to get those top three so it gets those temperatures down in the yellow or green just got to, it's got to get them down below 100 and uh, just to maybe i guess keep the card from burning out but i don't know we'll, we'll look into it so i've done ordered i've done i have completed and ordered some stuff from amazon uh and uh just again the different size thermal pads the calipers and i got isopropyl alcohol so once i get that stuff i'm going to pop one of these 3080 ti's open and replace the thermal pads and uh, put it back in the rig and see if i see a difference I'll do one and done and see if it makes a difference and then go from there and replace the others. Yeah, it's kind of sad you got to do this when you drop a lot of money on these GPUs. You got to maintain them like a car. It's like changing the oil, rotating the tires. Uh, yeah, but I guess when the thing's out, it'll be also a twofold thing. I have cleaned the GPUs, but it'll be also another chance to get all the dust off the heat sink and the fans and the blades and everything and just make it nice and shiny and then put that puppy back in there and uh, get it working as efficiently as possible and keeping those temps down. GPU mining, it's all about power and temperature and you know just to get that yummy hash rate. Oh boy, so here I am, I'm just going through a little discovery mode on what people have done with their uh, GPU thermal pads and looking at some of the comments. Yeah, and he even said, he's, he said that, he said, she said, blowing on it helps. All right, that's with the isopropyl alcohol. Yeah, so there you go. This is an old article too. So people that started mining a long time ago have dealt with this. They've asked questions from 2015 on. So it's been an issue. It's been around. And uh, that's good to know. So it's something people do. And I'm just going to now jump into it. And when I get the stuff hopefully tomorrow from the good old superstore of Amazon, I will be ready to rock and roll. And I'm actually kind of interested to see if it will drop those uh, memory temps down for me. And maybe, I don't know if it's gonna prove the hash rate, but I just wanna get those memory temps down because I'm sure it can't be really good for those GPUs to be running that hot with the memory. Yeah, that makes sense. If it's the memory getting hot, the thermal pads surrounding the memory or laying on top of those memory chips probably needs better protection. Yeah, so here we are again. We're just looking around. Here's the temps one last time. 3080 Ti LHR cards. Not the cheapest things in the world, but, you know, this rig has six of them. And I think, I can't see if you can see it from here. I'm kind of doing a voiceover on this video due to all the fan noise. But I'm getting about 500 plus mega hash on this rig. So, yeah. All right, that's where I'm at, guys. Let me know if you've done the pads, if they improved your performance. I'm out. I'll talk to you all later. All right, man. Take care. Bye.